I'd like to see you have more of a two-part swing, and I'd like to see you not prioritize a perfect contact as much, but hit the ball when it's a little high. Like in these rallies we're having, unless I hit a really loopy ball, it's never really not in a contact point that you can execute. Now it's hard to see the pros do this because the ball's coming so fast, but the swing should definitely, without a doubt, be in two parts. It should be a two part swing. It shouldn't be one continuous loop into the ball. The goal is to try to get more done earlier. So you, first you have to define a, a turn or even a, just a half turn that's kind of right here. This you can get done because this isn't going to change depending on the ball. This is pretty much going to be the same for every ball. So the second you see the ball come to the right side of your belly button, you can just go to forehand. The other part of it is not prioritizing contact height over proximity. In other words, if, the, if it's between hitting a ball a little higher up here and holding your ground and backing up and letting the ball drop to what you think is your perfect contact, you're actually better off hitting the ball up higher. Um, we see Djokovic do this, we see all the best players. That little bit of time you let the ball drop, it's significant. It's a significant amount of time for your opponent to recover. You're taking yourself further out of position. And honestly, you should be just as comfortable hitting the ball down here as up here. Now, yeah, if you get up here, you got to move a little. You got to either move in and take it on the riser back up. But so the drill for that, the drill to knock yourself out of entrainment and to get yourself to be in front of the rhythm is pretty simple. You just stand inside the baseline and you rally balls with me. And, and now, inevitably, when I have people do this, they say, well, well what if the ball's going to land behind me? Huh? Take it out of the air. Volley it. There really isn't right now, when we're rallying, there really isn't a reason for you to have to go behind this baseline. Um, good. Turn. Hit. Good. Sorry, sorry. Good get. Come on, get that with topspin. Get that with topspin. Every ball. Good. Good. <clears throat> Turn. Great, that's okay. But when you think about it, if pros are standing here, really, you probably should be able to get it. Because guys aren't hitting as hard and deep as the pros, right? So really, you should be pretty close to hugging this baseline. Sorry to interrupt, but if you want to serve harder and be more consistent, be sure to check out the link in the description of my serve program. It includes two detailed video analysis, a face-to-face -face video call, and unlimited email support. Let's work together to improve your serve, guaranteed, or your money back.